So I did a magazine interview last week and they asked me a very interesting question and I thought it would make a great topic for a video. So here we go. The question is, is astrology scientific? See, in order to answer this question, we're going to have to refine that a little bit, right? If the question is, is astrology scientific? As in, is it a physics thing? Is it a biology thing? Is it a chemistry thing? Probably not, right? So uh, it's just not the same kind of science. However, if the question is, is astrology scientific in the sense that it has a system that is reliable? So then if we were to refine that question into it, does astrology have a reliable scientific system? Then the answer is a clear yes. So an astrological chart is more than just say if you are a Scorpio or a Cancer, it's beyond just that. So if you've ever seen a full astrological chart before, it is made up of a complex system of planets, signs and, and house. So uh, you might also notice that they come in very different uh, degrees, symbols and uh, most people who see a birth chart for the very first time go like, wow, you know, that's, that's a lot of symbols, that's a lot of numbers and they ask me, do the numbers mean anything? I'm like, hell yeah, yeah, they do, right? So if you have, say your moon is in Capricorn, it does matter if your moon is at 22 Capricorn or if it's at 6 Capricorn. All of this uh, makes a difference to the interpretation in the chart. So, um, and, and also you see that uh, astrology goes beyond just your natal chart or what we call the birth chart. So for each human person that we see, uh, if you were to use a chart generator to generate um, the birth chart, you will see that, um, so each person comes to that, it is based on the exact positioning of planets at the time of your birth. On top of that, astrology goes even further. Uh, of course, we are most known for doing predictive work. And uh, this is when we use charts that involve things like transit charts. So transits are essentially, well, if the current transits are essentially where the planets are at this present moment. So we want to know if the moon is in Libra, is the moon in Aries. So that is a, a transit chart. How we do predictive work is when we compare the transit chart to your birth chart. So there are plenty of other techniques that we do. So you see, the question between is it scientific or not, is based on do we get a reliable, consistent answer every single time we put charts together and for astrology, the answer would be yes. So if, you're, if a chart generator says that you've got your moon at 6 degrees Aries, uh, you would still get 6 degrees Aries no matter what chart generator you would use. And, um, and if, say, if, if we had a planet, say if Mars in transit right now is at 6 Aries, would that, be, would that immediately trigger a transit to your moon? The answer would be yes. So, uh, and in that sense, astrology has a very reliable system. So other uses that we, we, we find for astrology are like, if it, even if we do things like compatibility, we're putting one person's entire birth chart together with another person's entire birth chart. And similarly, as the other examples as, as I've shown you, you get a consistent answer based on the interpretation of these comparisons. Okay, so uh, we'd like to find out what have you learned yourself about astrology? Do you think this is a reliable scientific system? And uh, what other systems do you think uh, you've discovered in astrology? So please share that in your comments below this video. And for more such content, please remember to like, subscribe and follow us on YouTube and Facebook and of course Instagram. Okay, so for those of you who do not know what I'm talking about when I say a full astrological birth chart, you want to go to the link at the bottom of this video it will give you access to a free chart generator. You will need an accurate birth time. You can get that from your birth certificate. Once you've keyed in your birth information, you should be able to generate your chart. Also, tell me if you get the hua, like, you know, how come there's so many symbols and numbers in your chart? So go and have fun with that uh, and in your using astrology as a self-discovery tool. I personally graduated from the International Academy of Astrology. They are based